there's a light fitting up here which I fitted yesterday and the, I fitted it and the painters come behind me and put some bubble wrap on it and um, he, he hasn't done it very neatly I mean he's just literally just put a bit of bubble wrap on it but honestly if you put that in a Tate Modern I think that would be classed as sort of art deco you know um, I'm always tempted to tell the customer to keep it the way it is because it, it looks so bad, it looks like it belongs in an art gallery. Um, it's the sort of thing that if a design, you know, some designer artist had presented it to the Tate Modern, they'd be like, wow, we need that, you know? Um, but if I did it, it's just a light fitting with a load of bubble wrap on it. Honestly, I think it's superb. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try and convince the customer to keep it. Today we have lots of jobs and I'm running around trying to get them all done and now getting run over by a car. Uh. Uh. Okay, oh, I'm not ready for January, <laughs> I'm really not. Okay, first job of the day is in Gold is green, so let's go there first. Fuck it, I've got no more permits. Fuck it, do the job quick, hope I don't get a parking ticket. Right, so all I need are screwdrivers and snips. Guarantee a warden will give me a ticket. Guarantee it every time. Right, I've been to this place before and this is a fucking twat of a door to open. Come on, pig dog. Switch broken. Turn on, doesn't turn off, you will die. Excellent. Come on, stay away, traffic wardens. I did see one just round the corner in England's Lane, but he looked a little on the comfortably mature in size, so I don't think he can walk that fast. Fuse board is off, just in case anyone's wondering. I just haven't got time to show you. Okay, cut those. Reterminate. I'm not bothering to put an electronic dimmer on, I'm just using the pneumatic ones because that was what was here already, so I'm just doing a like for like swap. These are quite simple to wire, you've just got a common, which is your permanent feed in, and then you've got either a normally closed or a normally open circuit, and you just wire the switch wire, which will be this one here, depending on what, um, depending on whether you want the lights to come on when you turn the switch on or off, and it's, just, it's up to you. But uh, and that there is the rotary, the rotary screw, and you just turn that for how long you want the lights to stay on for. Right, a bit of brown sleeving, done. Connector block on earth cable, done. Increase the timer on the screw. Once you've adjusted the timer on the screw, it's basically just a question of just press it, see how long it stay, keeps the lights on for, and then you just adjust it. That's nowhere near long enough. And you just keep doing it like this until you find a setting that works for the application that you're using it for. Come the fuck on, Bridget! I watched that the other night, actually. It was a good film. Didn't think I'd like it, but it was quite good. Yeah, it's a bit girly, so what? Done. Okay. That should be enough time for even the slowest, fattest person to get up to the first floor where they can turn on the next switch. Let's go. Right. Okay. Go, go, go. Have I got a parking ticket? No, I haven't. Ah. 
fuck my bridges. Stop swearing, Tom. Ah, oh, shut up, love. Okay, next job. The agents. Oh, come on! Slow, slow. The slower you go, the quicker you'll get there. Right, back in a second. I'm just going to drop these keys back to the agents. Okay. Next stop, Gilby House, Camden. I know this place, I've been there before. And for anybody wondering, I had a bit of speculation over my phone. It's an iPhone 7 Plus, which I'm refusing to do the updates on because every time you update your phone, it goes slower and the battery seems to run out faster. So I'm refusing to update it. Let's see what's in store. Doorbell not working, hallway light not working. Okay, let's go and have a look. Doorbell not working apparently in this property. So we'll go and have a look. Blimey. This is a posh old area, isn't it? I have a new doorbell. But I'm going to eat first. Mm. Oh. That sounds really cheap. Okay, we've got to pair them somehow. Really, you can rewire a fucking block of flats if I had to. And I'm struggling to pair a doorbell. Press to, press to pair. Oh, it works, all right, cool. All right, I'm gonna go and place this in the house. But you can't come. Okay, that's that job done. Let's get to the next job. Okay. All right. Baker Street, next stop. All right. I'd say those to start with. All right, so this is now the next job. So I've got four extinguishers to fit here. Uh, a couple of you asked, why did you get involved in fire extinguishers? It's not really an electrician's job. Um, I, I mean, it was just something that I ended up doing. When I did my fire alarm course, I ended up doing fire extinguishers as well because it just seemed like a good, they, they just sort of went hand in hand with each other. Um, so, and you can do the fire extinguisher courses. They're about three or four days. Um, and then normally, the, when, when you finish the course, they'll give you the, a pack of orange seals and stickers to get you started. Um, but they're really good courses. I'd really recommend it if anyone's, you know, if anyone's, uh, if anyone out there wants to do fire extinguishers, you can go and do a course. It's like three days, and that gives you the ability to service and maintain them and all that sort of stuff. I do actually have the little glow-in-the-dark stickers to put next to them, but I didn't bloody bring them with me. I left them at home. They arrived in the post the other day. I didn't bloody bring them with me, did I? Right, I'm going to go and chuck these up on each landing. This wears you out quickly. <laughs> All right, that's one done. Okay, boss. They're actually doing away with them in public places because more and more people are worried that... <sighs> As I was saying, there's a lot of places that are actually starting to do away with the, oh, you know, the fire extinguishers in communal residences like this and in like public places, shopping centres and stuff because um, A, because they get tampered with and if you break the seal, technically it needs to be resealed. So. Um, but the other more important reason is because um, a lot of people are worried now that, um, especially like in commercial environments and stuff, like restaurants and stuff, if the, you know, if the guests there, if there's a fire and the guests try to tackle the fire, they get hurt. A lot of the management companies are worried that they'll end up getting sued because the people have hurt themselves. But anyway, I mean, this here, the insurance company specified it, so we're fitting them in. But uh, 
yeah, a lot of places are starting to do away with them now, just because of fear of being sued and stuff if the people fighting the fire get hurt, you know? Anyway, that is me done here. The extinguishers fitted. Let's get out of here. The bloody hell's going on here. And now, boys and girls, I think is about enough to fill this video up. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, guys, because I really appreciate it. If you want to subscribe up here, watch another video down here. Uh, comments down at the very bottom, same as usual, and I will see you in a couple of days' time. See you later, boys and girls.